Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, it is Friday, and that's a freaky Friday, but nothing freaky happening on Friday today. Uh, we are getting ready to blow leaves, guys. Blow leaves all the way to the back, out of the beds to the back. Then we got to cut this bad boy. So, hey, today's video topic is going to be a really serious one. Um, thinking about maybe shutting down the lawn care business I don't know I don't know really want to talk about it what happens when you decide to shut down your business what causes you to shut down your business just things that have been on my mind a lot of stuff going on so anyway let's get to work and we'll talk about that later guys hey what's up dude what's up anything yeah. new no, not really. Uh, the last property we were at, because uh, we've done a couple so far, uh, it was very idle mode, the back. It's a very bumpy ride. And as a matter of fact, I think my pancreas and liver are still back in the property somewhere. Probably it's, are. Probably. So uh, if anybody's donating pancreas, uh, <laughs> go to uh, call my, uh, my toll free hotline, 1 800 need pancreas. And uh, yeah, well. Even get me, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh i thought he was going to be serious you and then you wonder why i don't interview him more often come on guys Right, guys so you saw this one that we just did got most of the leaves up in the front yard the the leaves are dropping 
anyway because the wind's blowing like crazy and there is dust everywhere man it is a mess out here dry dusty and leafy so anyway let's go to the next one and uh near the end of the video i'll tell you what's been on my mind with and not only me but a few of uh my friends and uh don't know which way this is gonna go but let's go to work guys that is it this one is done I'll show you the stripes in it I love this yard this is one of my favorites Justin is uh, still blowing that is a sweet yard man one of the one of the best I've got just nice and oh it's so plush anyway what I want to talk about is when he's done blowing anyway what I want to talk about is how do you know when it's time to hang up the lawn care business how do you know when it's time I had a friend over to my house the other day and uh, everything's going good next thing I know trying to call him can't get a hold of him turn on YouTube and there he is making a video saying he's closing up shop because he had to take his mower back and I'm like dude you don't quit just because you have to take a mower back that's when you grab your push mower and you say no matter what it takes I got this because I have to have this if this is my dream you know, here's a couple things that can end your business. Obviously, if you're bringing in less than you're paying out, that will ruin a business pretty fast. If you don't know how to manage money and you're constantly buying new products, but yet you're not able to justify the cost over, once again, what you're bringing in. The third thing... I think the most important one is if you don't have the drive to get out here and do what others have done before you, you're not going to make it. You have got to have determination, drive, ambition that no matter what happens, I am going to survive this business and I'm going to get bigger and stronger and whatever I go through it doesn't matter because I'm gonna come out even harder so I think you know I, I see guys and I've seen this before they'll buy a bunch of new trucks new trailers bunch of mowers 
and then adversity hits and they go under. Well, that's the reason I tell people that are young or even middle-aged or older, use what you've got until you can justify it. Doesn't make any sense to go into debt when you do not have to. Now look, yeah, it puts money in other people's pockets, but it doesn't put money in your pocket. And that's what business is about, putting money in your pocket. As much as everybody wants to hate those people getting successful, they all want to be them. They just don't know how to be them. So, look, I'm just, I'm just being real with y'all. A lot of businesses close in the first couple years because people do not know how to handle their money or they thought it would be easier or they just simply don't have the drive and the ambition. Now, I don't know what happened with my friend. No idea because he will not answer my phone calls, will not call me back. Not a clue, man. All I do know is anybody that doesn't have the drive, ambition, want, willingness to do more and more each day is not going to succeed at lawn care. You may make a little bit of money. You may make enough to pay your bills, but you're not going to be a success like you want to be. So, you know... When do you know when it's time to walk away? For me, it'll never be time to walk away. I'm not going anywhere. I have a drive and a determination and an ambition. That's what makes me, me. Now, are there a lot of guys and a lot of women and a lot of young people with that drive and determination? You better believe there are. But there's very few and it's becoming fewer every year. You can't find help. So you get discouraged, so you close your business. Look, you have to want to work. This, this isn't go sit on Granny's couch at 1 o'clock in the afternoon when you've only got 7 to 10 to 12 yards a week and you just sit there and hope that it comes to you. It doesn't work that way. So if that's what you expect, probably a good thing you just walk away while you can. But uh, if you expect to put a lot of hard work in, a lot of effort, and you can ask anybody. I don't care who's on YouTube, who's in your neighborhood, who's in your area. Those trucks, those trailers, those mowers, those racks, all that stuff, it didn't come easy. They all had to work for it one way or another. So just think about it, guys. Do you really want to walk away or do you want to live your dream out? As much as sometimes I get burnt out and I'm tired of mowing or hedge trimming or mulching, I'm living my dream. So I'm already rich if you think about it. As far as money, money comes in time, but you got to be smart. You got to know when to spend it and know when people are just trying to take it from you that's why I say don't worry about all these salesmen out here use what you got until you can afford it let them push it on somebody else and make their money some other way there'll be plenty of people that'll buy it because this person said it was good or that person said it was good it's only good if it makes you money and it works all right guys that's it Hope you enjoyed it. I'm not walking away from lawn care, but I know people who are, and it's sad because it doesn't have to be that way. You just got to find that drive, man. You got to dig deep and find the drive. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tonight, 8 o'clock, a little bit of lawn care chat, and uh, I want to hear about your craziest stories in lawn care tonight, man. Like, some of the craziest stuff that's happened to you and uh anyway guys i'm out of here dr real was in the house i will see you tomorrow no live stream in the morning we gotta work i'm out of here peace